guys, welcome back to Lennox Bennett channel. You know it's Lennox Bennett. Let's go. All right, so this one says permit and area of compound shapes. However, I will be focusing on the perimeter. My PEP students, let's go. And guys, this is a number to call to get the child into the class. Uh, WhatsApp 549 2161. You know the era code 876. Don't know the thing set already. Let's go. I right, say so it says find the perimeter or well, ignore the era part of the following compound shapes and it's not drawn to scale, means it don't have the correct measurement. They just put in numbers basically. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's say this is number one. All right, so first of all, guys, when you get a first of all, compound shapes mean two shapes combined two or more all right they won't put three for your seek but they will put two at least all right so let us see if we can find the perimeter now remember perimeter means the total distance around so for all the sides we must figure out what should go where all right we we'll start with right here now this is four so the opposite side will be equal so this side is also Guess what, guys? You need to figure out this little piece, and we can do that by saying from here to here is six. And if this is four, how much more we need to make six? Yeah, just here somebody said two, you are correct. And this side here is matched with this side opposite, so this side will be four also. We have the 11 already, so we go. Four, we need to figure out this piece right here. Now, if all of this is 11, and from here to here is four, so from here to here is four, that means four plus what make 11? All right, if you say seven, you go into heaven. All right, so now we can add. Oh, I like to do it. I like to start from right at this point. So I know that this is my starting point. When I reach here, I know I finish. So add 4 and 11, that's 15. Plus another 4, 19. Plus this, 21. So right here, I know that from this point, it's 21. So we're going to add 4 and 16, and that 14 and 7. Something all right, guys. Four and is fifteen. Four and eleven, fifteen. Plus four, nineteen, twenty-one. Yeah, I was correct. So I'm gonna add four and six. That's ten. Plus that, fourteen. Fourteen plus seven, twenty-one. Which gives me forty. Why I keep thinking something like 4 and 7, 4 and 11, 15, plus the 4 right here. So 15 and 19, 21, 21, 4 and 16, 14 and 7. Yeah, so it should be 42. Right, let's look at the next one. And of course, don't forget your unit, so it should be centimeters. Let's look at this one. So basically get all except for this portion here and this portion here. So let's reason out what is this. So all of this come down is 10 because this is opposite to this. So all of this is 10. But from here to here is 4. That means we need 6 more. And this is the part that can be a little bit tricky. This little portion here. Now all of this go across is seven and it stop right here which is six so right here would be one so i'm gonna start here so again so six and six twelve plus the one thirteen plus four seventeen so come to this portion right here we have seventeen and then we add ten and seven which gives us 17 also. That's so weird. 
So this should be 34. Let's go again, 6 and 6, 12 and 1, 13 and 4, 17. And then we have 10, we have 7 and 10, 17. So that gives us 34. All right, let's figure out this one now. We're going to call this one 3. So the opposite sides are equal. So this should be 4. So let's go, we know from here, we need to figure out this portion here. Now all of this is 12. From here to here is also four. So four and four make eight. So how much more we need to make 12? If you say four, there are juniors. So we have this, we need to figure out this portion here, but this portion is opposite to this. So this side will be three also. All right, again, we're gonna start from here. So 4 and 4, 8, 8 and 3, 11, 11 and 4, 15, and 3, 18. Come up to this point, we have 22. And then we have 2 leave, which is 4 plus that gives us 16. So this works out to 38 centimeters. So, so far, so good. Remember, we're not doing the area. Come back for your video to the area. All right, let's look at this one. So we have this one of this side would be three. Each side missing. So we have the one here. So we need to figure out this side. Now this side is opposite to this side. So this side is also a three. Right, so we need to figure out, we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this. We need to figure out what's the measurement for down there, all of this. Now, if you draw a dotted line, they told us that this portion is five. So we just need to figure out the measurement from here to here. Now, all of this is four. From here to here is four. And they give us here as one, that means this side is three. So this would be three. So in all, all of this come to eight. So I could just put the eight here because we don't want to get confused. So all of this is eight. And we can add, I like to start from the top, so I know when I reach back here, I finish. So four plus three, that's seven, plus five, 12, plus three, 15, plus 8, 23. So I'm at 23 now. And I'm at right at this point. So I'm 3 plus 1, that's 4, plus that, 7. So I know that this should give me 30. But I'm a uni. All right, let's look at, we're going to call this one number 5. So the one that we just finished is number 4. All right, let's mess that one here now, guys. This is opposite, so we can just put in the ones. I always suggest you put in the easy ones first. This side is opposite to this. So this one seems to be made up of squares since the measurements are the same. All right, so boom, 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 boom. We still, don't need, we still need to know this. Now, if all of this is 6, is 10, and this is 4, it means right here would be 6. Because 6 plus 4 give us 10. So this is 6. And all of this is 10. So that means this would be 6 since this side is 4. And then we can add all the 10. So let us see how many 10s we have. 1, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this would give us 60 plus the two sixes, which add up to 12. So this one works out to 70. So this one should be 70. Of course, we put our unit. Let's check out this one now. All right, so this accounted for, this accounted, this accounted, this accounted. So we need to know this measurement and this one, all right? I think this one would be easier because from here, this would be three and this would be six. So six plus three, all of that you will nine. 
if all of this is six, and from here to here is three, so from here to here is three, that means this side is also be three. So this is three. Let's add now. We're gonna start from here again. So three and three is six. Six and six, 12. 12 and three, 15. So I'm at 15 and then nine and six, 15. So that makes it to 30. So this works out to 30. And of course, we put our unit. Let's move on to the next one. This one look a little bit nasty. All right, so let's put in what we know first. So this side is opposite to this. So this side will be 10. All right, so we need to figure out this little piece. No, we need to figure out right here. Now this is opposite to this. So this would also be three. It's actually easier than I thought. All right, all of this is nine. And we have four and two, six. So we need our further three. So this formula like is square by itself. <laughs> all right. So let's start again. Now we have all the sides. So we can add up now. All right. So we're going to start from here. Nine plus 10, that's 19. Plus two, 21. 21 plus three, 27. 30. 33. So we are 33 plus 14. And that will give us our answer. This can be a little bit tricky, guys. So I want you guys to double check them. Leave a comment if you see a miss also. This can be really tricky. I feel no way. So this worked out to 47. All right, let's look at this one. I don't even remember which number it is. I think it's number 8. So I'm going to call this 7. And this one. Eight. All right. So we have this to be 3. We need this side. But we know that this side is opposite to this side. So this will be 10. Put in the easy ones first. So 3, 10, 12, 10. We need to figure out this portion here. Now all of this is 12. So if we start here, this would be 3. And this would be 6. So how much more we need? 6, right? So this would be 6 right here. As we said, right here is 3. All we have to do is figure out this portion, which is equal to this portion. Let's do that. So if all of this is 10 and this is 8. Oh, it was given. So it's actually given. So this would be 8. And we can see if all is accounted for. In my estimation, I would say yes. So we have 6, this, 8, 3, 8, 3, 10. And of course, all of this is 12 that was given on 10. So let us start from here again. So we have 6 plus 8, 14 plus 3, 17 plus 8, 25 plus this, 28 plus 10, 38. So right at this point, we are at 38 plus 16. That look like. 6 and 8, 14, 4 carry 1. So we have 4 and 1, 5. So that's 54 centimeters. I'm going to run through to see if I'm making an error because these can be so tricky, guys. Don't take them for granted. All right, so we have this to be 8. That means all of this is 8. So if this is 4, this is also 4. So up top would be 4. Opposite sides are equal. All right, we have everything except for this little space right here. So I'm going to figure out how we're going to figure out this. So all of this is 12. So come down is 12. But guess what? This is 5. So that makes the top piece 7. And we can get our answer. Again, I like to start from a corner. So we have 4 and 12, 16. 16 and 8, 24. So up to this point, it's 24. And I'm going to add 5 and 4, 9, 9 plus 7, 5 and 4, 9, 
So that's 16. So this works out to 40. All right, guys, I think before I end the video, I'm going to scroll through just to make sure that everything is perfect. All right, guys, so these were not quite correct. The numbers are correct, but I didn't have it correct. Let's go again. So we have 6, 6 and 8, 14, 14 plus 3, 17, 17 and that 25, 28, 38, right? So we have 38. And this is where they missed the error went. I added the 6, so it should be 12 plus 2. Which gives me 22. So 38 and 22, that is 60. And for this one, I do a rough check. So we have 9 and that 19 and 2, 21, 24, 27, 30. Here should be 30. Let's go again. 9 plus 10, 19 and 2, 21, 24. 27, 30, I had 33, and then 4 and 10, so this should be 44, Yo, let me check it, let me check it, I think I added too fast, let me check the ones up the top now, so this should have actually been 40, this would be 60, that one here. Um, three and three, six, twelve, fifteen, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty-four, fifteen and nine. Yeah, this one is correct. All right. Let's see what I'm going up here. So. This is thirty-eight. This is correct. Um, I didn't have on the unit here. There, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. The next penny. Oh, send me number there, guys. Send me number there. The call is seven six five four nine two one six one. Pep students, A plus. Let's go. All right. So I'll see you guys soon. The next minute tomorrow, no doubt. So see you guys in another video.